Hi, this is Veronica with So It Seems, and welcome back to another block making of Dear Jane. Today I'm going to be making block G5, which is also called Poof. So let's take a look at what this block is and how I'm going to go about making this block. This block does not take a lot of pieces. When we take a closer look at it, it looks like we could use one fabric as the background and the background fabric is our main color. This centerpiece is cut from the contrast fabric, which for me is muslin. And then there are these diagonal strips, which can be just two strips, one strip here, one strip there. So it looks like we are gonna have a total of four pieces to cut out. First, I'm going to start off by tracing the center piece and cutting that out as my template. This is the paper template that I've already cut out and I've traced it onto my muslin fabric. And then I cut out the fabric leaving about a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around. Also from the muslin fabric I've cut two strips that will be the cross pieces behind that template. My main color fabric will be this purple fabric, which I need to have a five inch square of. To give myself some room for the applique that I'll be doing, I cut it just a little bit larger than my template. So this gives me almost three quarters of an inch all the way around extra to allow for the handwork that I do. The first step for this block is to sew the diagonal strips on. I will start with one strip and fold under one side and stitch it down and then fold under the other side. Then I will do the same with this other strip. I'll fold it under, stitch on one side, fold it under, stitch on the other. I pressed under both sides of that center strip and I use the center line on my ruler. to make sure that it's lined up. I now have the two side strips sewn on and I used my ruler to make sure that they were lined up so that they were even. And you can see the line goes right down the center on both of those. Now I'm going to take the center clover and I'm gonna line that up and you may not be able to see the pencil lines, but where the clover, I, I'm calling it a clover, I don't know what this is, it's called a poof, but where the little sections jut, jut in on each of these is, it lines up directly with the stripes. I'm having this piece laid down with my line facing up, because I'm going to needle turn applique this piece down but I want to see the line so I'll pin this down and I'm also going to clip my little corners right in here so that I can get in right to that corner and needle turn applique. I'm going to pin this into position with my needle turn, with needle turn with this line, I want to turn this just under so that the line drawn there disappears. So when I take those stitches, that line doesn't show up. I'm now done stitching my block and I'm going to use my ruler and you can see, sorry for the glare for my light, I can't do anything about that, but I'm going to trim my block now and it'll be done. I've trimmed my block and that is block G5. 
thank you for following along with this block walkthrough for block G5 poof from the Dear Jane quilt. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below or send me an email at so it seems creations at outlook.com. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you can know each time a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching.